All right, in this recording, we're going to go ahead and finish out the mouth area so we can have our finished lips and uh, have this extruded all the way back. All right, so we've got our lips here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five up here, and then this is six right here. So you can see we need to um, do some more splitting in here so that um, when we do our pen tool, everything is matching up. All right, so one thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and pen this right here and then make this a little bit smaller. So I go ahead and pull out my edit mesh, the pen polygon tool, click on here, and zoom in so I can see my arrows. Okay, hit enter. And what I'm gonna do is make like I said, these sides a little bit shorter. I'm going to go ahead and do a more key. Go ahead and do that on the other side. I forgot to do it on both sides. Pen polygon tool. Enter. Right click. And again, make sure uh, you have your The tool on so you're doing symmetry. So I'm going to go ahead and put my toolbar here. Make sure soft select is off. And reflections. So you can see both sides are selected. Right? If you don't, uh, you'll start moving around and then you'll totally lose your symmetrical look to it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and start pulling that stuff up. Go to my front and side view. So, and we're going to be doing a lot more splitting here, but just want to make sure this has a nice bend around this area. It's a pretty big drop off here. Right. Just gently moving this stuff around. Just take your time with this. And I'm going to take this down, have this way up. these down too. Earlier I had them way up just so we can have some room to work around. Again, however workflow you choose is fine. Just make sure just get the good good data, good forms on these. Just a nice oval look to this. And big time. To your side view. Let's go ahead and show what we have. This guy's going back to back like that. It's quite annoying. Go ahead and clean up our edges here. Put this into the middle. Midway in the lip. Get up close here. Again, you've got two photos here that probably don't match up. So do your best to try to match up. Again, bad photographer that I am. Halfway up to okay. 
This one, everything is in a medium. Everything has a nice flow and curvature to it. Okay. And we'll move these to the very top of the lips. up to the bottom. Look at our front view. Put this one on. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and split polygon tool. Insert edge loop tool. What we're going to do is go ahead and cut these out. Okay, get that close to here. And what I'm doing is make sure these match up. Go ahead and use our pen tool. Hit G. Go ahead and pin my pen tool again. G. So we'll get to our vertex, and now we can really start to shape the mouth a little bit better. Before I had a lot of geometry too low, so now we're definitely cleaning this up. So nice flow to the lips. And this may not gel up with your side view, just because the photograph is off. But again, try your best. I'm going to use more of my front view than my side view to finish this off. Okay, so go ahead and insert edge loop two again. I'm going to cut a couple times, one here. That's all we need. Insert edge loop tool. Again, I'm going to try to get it to hit right on that target. So kind of imagine that. All right, so we're going to do our pen polygon tool. I'm going to hit five, so I can see shaded view. G. G, enter, G, the pen tool is great, G, all right, oops, enter, hit double Z, screw that up by G, Okay, yeah, so we've got a lot of cleanup to do. So when I hit four, vertex. Start sculpting my face a little bit better. This so gives us a, a nice round look to it. He's up on her nostril here.
So I adjusted my tolerance level, it was a little off. Put these in. All right, again, you just want to kind of a, a rounded shape here, so I'm kind of readjusting everything. Some of you were already doing this at the, at the beginning. I like to do it near the end. Just get all of it laid out and then start pulling it in. It's just the way I like to work. You guys can work any way you want. It's fine with me, just as long as you get really good results. So we just want everything on the match up with the face. In just a second, we'll go to the side view. And really clean this up. Okay, see it's quite a tedious task, but just go line by line. Let's get a nice edge flow to everything. Everything looks nice and fluid. If you see any hard edges or jolts or any weird lines, just make sure just like if you see something like that, just clean it up. Especially the one here up here. Just very, very subtle changes. Right, my bottom, my top look, looks pretty bad. Again, I'm using just my front view just to do my final pass on this. May not be accurate on the side view. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just trying to get a pretty accurate depiction of this man's face. Okay, so we're going to go to a side view. Let's kick it over and we'll probably stop for this tutorial. This is going pretty long. So hit four. See through. Top here is looking pretty good. I'll pull this back. And okay, we're just looking. Trace has a nice fluid line. You see how it's bending a little bit. Just make sure it just bends just right. Nice fluid curves. Like I said, I'm not going to start fighting with my front and side view. Just going to kind of go with my front view. So I'm just going to see this goes way down, but the photos just don't line up. So I'm just going to just kind of average it out here. Okay. No one will ever know once you look on it as full on view. And I'm just kind of spacing it out here. It's pretty good. Pull this out, the space is out. Nice healthy spacing. That's pretty good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and move out on the chin. And what you can see here, I'm going marquee uh, on this. So this is probably grabbing both the front, the, both sides going all the way through. Alright, looks like everything has a nice, good flow to it. I'm just gently massaging everything. Let's go to the side view one more time. Put these lips out for a little bit further. Okay. Side view, or front view, let's go to front view real quick. Ok, 
Okay. Looking pretty good. I'm almost done. Put one down. Zoom in a little bit. Ooh, look at that neck. Move these up a little bit. So I'll check those on the side. Put these out instead of down. I think that's what messed it up. Uh, let's stop there. As you can see, in the five mode, we have pretty good um, lip and chin area. Look in our perspective view, and go ahead and turn off my cameras. My image points. Oh, there we go. So we we have a whole bunch of points to start working on here. Massage this out, but we'll probably do that on the next go around. All right. All right, I'm gonna stop there. This video is gonna go on forever. All right, so we're gonna do a lot of cleanup on how this sits on the face, especially the chin area and then we'll start working on the nose and the eye area.